Hello, these are the exercise, exercises for the normal probability. The number of chocolate chips in an 18 ounce bag of chocolate of Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 1262 chips with a standard deviation of 118 chips. Label the mean and standard deviation. So we have our mean is going to be at the peak here at 1262. And right at the inflection point, that's going to be 118 away. If you wanted to, you could also label these um, demarcations as 1380. These are all increments of standard deviation away, 1498. And you can kind of see how you could expand the entire normal distribution with these different labeled of the number of chips in a bag. It's hard to label too many because of the axis, but you can see, okay? So you should label at least the mean and the standard deviation to kind of figure out and get a feel for the distribution shape. So what is the probability that a randomly selected 18 ounce bag contains between 1,000 and 1,400 chocolate chips inclusive. So you can kind of see how a thousand is going to be down below this 1,026. So it's going to be like way down here. And 1,400 is going to be about here. So it's going to be this area between a thousand and 1,400. So we go to GeoGebra and we fill in the different indicators. So we had a mean of 1,262 and we had a standard deviation of 118 and you can kind of see here how it goes and it makes the same scale as we had on our hand-drawn distribution. Okay, so I wanted it to be inclusive, so I'm going to use the inclusive scenario and I want my probability to be between um, a thousand and fourteen hundred. Yep, and it labeled in and shaded the region between a thousand and fourteen hundred. So this little area should look very similar to what the area that we had here. So we are trying to find the probability that our x, which is the number of chips in the bag between 1,000 and 1,400. When you look at the table here, you can see that, that probability is indicated right here. And then immediately your output is given to you to the nearest fourth decimal spot. So we have 0. 0.8657. Okay. So what is the probability that a randomly selected a randomly selected bag contains fewer than a thousand chips. So remember, a thousand was way over here on the far left side. We want to know fewer than a thousand chips. So the probability that my x is less than or equal to a thousand chips. So when we go over to the GeoGebra, we have the same mean and standard deviation. We have to change our increment. So we're going to be going less than. So that makes the indicator of x less than. Let me change this to a thousand. And it has, again, matches the picture of a thousand and then shaded to the left of that. So you may want to make sure that it matches what your drawing for the distribution was. And then you read off to the nearest fourth decimal spot of 0 0.0132. So what proportion of an 18 ounce bag can contain more than 1200 chips? Okay, so we come over here and we draw our picture. So 1200 on here is gonna be a little bit in between one standard deviation below on the mean. So it's gonna be like we're out about here. It'll be 1200 and contains more than that. So you wanna shade the region to the right. Same mean, 
same standard deviation because of the same type of problem. And we have to change the area that we're shaded now to be above this number that we put in. And we had the number that we put in was above 1200. And again, you go and you match, make sure your picture matches what this shade looks like. And then we have 0.0, I'm sorry, 0 0.7004. Okay. And again, of course, it's a good idea to draw this out. So you make sure that you can double check the inequality also. So the probability that X, which is the number of chips per bag, is greater than or equal to 1200. Again, you can see how that is written here. They put the X second instead of first, but it has the same scenario. X is greater than or equal to 1200 here. And this last one, it says, would it be unusual to select a bag that has fewer than 900 chips? So let's think about where 900 chips would be. It would be like really down over here. So it would be like way over here on the left. And you want it fewer, probably that X is fewer than or equal to 900 chips. So it's really, really over here. So being unusual is that it's less than 5%. And so we come over here and we change our shade again. Same mean, same standard deviation, but we say 900. And we have our probability is 0 0.0011. One. So this is the same thing as 0.11%. This is unusual because our probability is less than 5%, okay? You wanna make sure that you remember that all of these probabilities, this one maybe should have been written as a proportion, can be written as a percentage also. Okay, so all you gotta do is change your decimal place and it changes from a probability to a proportion or a percentage. Okay, let's look at the next problem. The scores on an IQ test are normally distributed with a mean of 1,000 and a standard deviation of 15. Label the mean and standard deviation. Okay, so again, our mean is... at the 50% module, the top of that peak. And then we have, again, 15 above that to get to the first standard deviation. You could also, again, like we did before, label more standard deviation to get more of a gauge of how the distribution sits. But you need to at least draw the mean and one standard deviation. Okay. So what is the probability of scoring 95 or lower? So you come here and look at your distribution. 95 is going to be about here. And 95 is your IQ. IQ is so the probability of my IQ is less than or equal to 95. So we're going to shade to the left. And then we come over here to our GeoGebra. Again, we have to change our mean standard deviation now because we have a different distribution. We had a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. And we wanted it to be, um, again, less than 95. So we're going to change it to less than 95. And... We want to make sure that we're shading to the left, okay? So we have that 95, and it's shaded to the left, so it matches our distribution here. And we look at what the probability is, the nearest fourth decimal spot, and it's 0 0.3694. Okay, 
So what is the probability of scoring between 95 and 120? So again, 95, we found that already. 120 is going to be a little bit over one standard deviation above the mean. So it's going to be about there. So it's 95 to 120. Let's shade that in. When the probability that our score, our IQ score, is between 120 and 95. So we have our mean and standard deviation indicated correctly. We got to indicate that it's in between. And so we are going to change it to 95 to 120. And you have this shaded in region, which corresponds to this shaded in region. And the probability of being in that region is 0.5393. This next problem is a little bit different than what we've been doing. So it says, what is the 75th percentile? Okay, so this is actually giving the proportion, okay, and you want the data value. So we have, and percentile means at this value or everything below it, that's going to be 75%. So I want to know what this data value is, which is different than it was before because here we were given our data values and you wanted to know the probability. So it's a little bit different kind of question, but we still go and approach it the same way. We come here to our distribution, make sure we have our mean and our standard deviation and you wanna make sure that you have it shaded the correct way. So you wanna go below a value, but I don't know what number I want to fill in here. What I know is that this is gonna be 75%. So I want 75% of this normal distribution to be shaded to the left of this value. And then this is the data value that I wanna look at. And it says on my problem to round to the nearest whole number, so when I look at that, I have 110.1, which rounds to which rounds to an IQ of 110. Okay. So what is the minimum IQ score at the top? 5% of individuals have. So the top 5%, again, it's similar to C in that we are given 5%. And I want to know what is this minimum score that's going to be this lower boundary of IQ score that has the shaded region of 5% to the right of it. Okay. I'm going to shade to the right. And I'm going to Again, I have my mean as 100, my standard deviation is 15. I'm going to leave this because I don't know what data value is going to give me, but I have the area filled in of 0 0.05, and I have it as 124.67, which rounds to the nearest whole number becomes 125 IQ score.